All right. One reason I like doing inking right into Illustrator is not only is it pretty responsive and helps me smooth, especially for even line weight like this, but I can go back to it with my pencil tool. I can set my pencil tool to be super smooth. And then I can use my small selection tool, click on where I want to clean it up, like here, and then use my pencil tool to redraw the edges like magic scissors, right? And that will clean it up. And they, this does not need to be as intricate and as beautifully controlled as a logo design would need to be. But you do have that control of a vector and it will always stay super, super clean in a way that a raster digital inking never will. So this is my preferred way to do line art for t-shirt designs because vectors are just always going to print cleaner than, than anything else. And of course you can use the pen tool to modify, you know, anchor points are anchor points. So once you have them, you can always modify them. Now, a lot of students like to use the eraser tool. The only problem with the eraser tool, you can double click it, you can set it to be pressure sensitive, you can change its size, but you can't change its smoothness, right? So when I use it and I erase down, it can get pretty funky pretty quick. So I tend to like to just redraw the vector with the pencil tool. Again, not trying to be too perfectionist here. Just trying to smooth it out. And remember with the pencil tool, you have to start on the path and end on the path. So it's all underneath the shape tools. So paintbrush is the top one. We never use paintbrush because it's a stroke tool. We use the blob brush. And then underneath the blob brush is the pencil. But first use the blob brush. Get your vectors. The, the pencil tool is just to clean them after the fact. So for instance, like I did a pretty good job on this eye, but I overshot it a little bit right here. Right? So now I can use the pencil tool just to straighten that up. Start on the path, end on the path. Clean it up. Now this takes time, and you can decide on the ambition of your illustration based on the time you have, right? And you might just decide, okay, I'm just going to ink this at home, bring it in, scan it, and then I'll image trace it, turn it into a vector that way. And that's valid too. Any way we can get to clean vector line art. Everything's allowed as long as it's a vector at the end of the day. And we're just getting introduced to this stuff, but getting this practice will help you when it comes time for digital painting and some of the other techniques we're going to learn. <laughs> that might be just something you do. It's part of your artistic interpretation of Medusa. You could do a combination of Medusa and Medea. That would probably sell some t-shirts. Yeah, what I like about this spot illustration is it's really going to show your, your personality. Because even though I'm showing you the tools, you're deciding entirely what you do with them. And you decide how much you're going to follow your sketch. <clears throat> Yeah.
Yeah, often I'll, I'll be inking and I try not to stop until I finish the line, but your hand will get kind of twisted into a weird position. There are tools for that digitally. You can actually rotate the image digitally, just like you can like physical inking. But I just say complete as much as you can in one pass and then go back and you can clean it up. Sometimes I will use the eraser just to get big chunks out, but Remember, your goal is to like your own work here. that you would want it on a t-shirt for yourself. My number one advice to, to artists is to make work that you yourself would buy. <laughs> no, no matter how niche your tastes are, there are people out there that will like what you like. Yeah, if you finished your line art, you can post it to Canvas. You're well ahead of me if you've if you're already there. Sure. And we still have about 40 minutes of class, you know, to work on this line art. And if I can just put my head down in ink, I could get it done. But I can also decide to, to limit the ambitions a little bit. So you get to make those decisions. And remember, you can always go into it and then use the pencil tool to clean it up. So this is all about the blob brush and the pencil tool within Illustrator. Now, I'm going to save it every once in a while. I haven't saved this yet. Shame on me. So I'm going to say save as onto my computer, onto my desktop with my name and then assignment five spot illustration. And this is the line art. Just as an AI file because I'm working on it through Illustrator. So by next class, no matter how you do it, I want everyone to have line art. <laughs> Even if you're just inking it with a Sharpie and then taking a photo of it to, to image trace in Illustrator. And even if I just did that, that would be plenty good for a spot illustration, right? That gives me plenty to work with, plenty to color. But I've got more to go, so Command S, save my progress, keep going. Blob brush. Then you'll get to spots where you don't quite contain it. This becomes a big problem when we color. So I'm going to try to catch those spots with my line art and just use my blob brush to fill those in. Those little spots. Give them little claws. 
And hopefully you'll start building some affection for your monster as you're working on it. Because it's your own creation. Just in time for Halloween. <laughs> Would you like some help, Kim? Okay. All right. We're always our best teachers. Our failure is our best teacher. David Carradine said that in Kung Fu. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, hard round pressure size if you're doing it in Photoshop. I think yours looks like the Chicago Bulls because of just the, the stern expression. That's what I like. You can always find it under a window. Different options. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Save your progress as you go. Now the only problem with having smoothness turned on is sometimes it won't capture your change of directions. So that's the uh, the downside of it. But I just I kind of love that that clean look it gives. So sometimes you have to slow down a little bit just so everything feels more intentional. All right. And then the shortcuts, if you're using the blob brush, if you just hold down command, you'll get to the small selection tool. And then you can just go right to the pencil. And then you can refine the transitions. Remember, you change the settings on the blob brush or the pencil just by double clicking the tool. OK, so now I've got the head and I've got the arms. This is almost a full, you can see that as a sticker or as a spot illustration on its own, but I would want to contain that arm. So even though it might not be in my sketch, I might decide, oh, okay, I want this arm to hook up like this into it. And now everything's contained. That could be a finished spot illustration. Probably should be, <laughs> but I, I tend to overdo it. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the saddle because I kind of liked this crazy thing I came up with. Lots of looping curves, lots of good practice for inking. Just committing to the line, following it through. And even though I'm using one line weight all the way through like animation, I can always double it up 